Hey guys, it's me Minori and my pet Baymax. Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Okay, so Among Us. It's becoming very, very popular on YouTube. If you don't know Among Us, you should come out from under the rock. But I've actually been enjoying all the Among Us videos. It's like literally getting the YouTube community together and I've been enjoying all the collabs. I mean, when I saw Ryan Higa and PewDiePie got together for a game, oh like... Oh. Oh, I'm a huge YouTube geek. Anyways, I wanted to join the community, but not by gaming because I'm not really a gamer, but by making some imposter squishies because making squishies is kind of my thing. I'm thinking of making some really cute small imposters and by some, I mean like a hundred of them. Why am I doing this? Why are we still here? I don't know, I thought it would be really fun to make like a hundred imposters. I honestly don't know how it's gonna turn out, but let's just get started because I have a feeling it's gonna take a while. So without further ado, making a hundred imposter squishies. Let's get started. First off, I'm going to get some polymer clay and make some little imposters. Okay, to some of you who don't know what Among Us is, it's basically a game like Mafia, where there's like one or two killers or imposters, and rest are citizens, or in this case, crewmates. The crewmates need to do some tasks while the killer kills them one at a time. If the crewmates guess the imposters, then they win. If the imposters kill everyone, then the imposters win. I mean, there's a bit more to it and it's so cool, but that's like the gist of it. I want to make like really tiny ones that are like the size of a thumbnail. I'm going to use some random tools I have around in my house to mold them into shape. I don't have like professional equipment at home, but I bought Jazz's art box, so hopefully that comes soon. Because I'm going to make a hundred imposters, I'm going to repeat this process and make as many imposters as I can. And while I was making these imposters, I was like, hmm, would it be funny if one of them turns out to be a fall guy? Okay, now we're done, off to the oven we go. So, I put it in the oven like it said, but some of them turned out a little wonky. Like, this guy has a bump on its face. So, I went back and made a few more just in case. And since I was hurrying, I tried to use my small oven to bake it, but then I forgot to set it to the right temperature, and this happened. There was an imposter who did this. It was you. Wow, it's like complete charcoal. So my new ones turned out a little crazy. I went and made a few more without the camera. And here are all my imposters. Like, I wouldn't mind just cutting out all my mistakes, but you know, artists do make mistakes, and I think it's funny to leave it in, because I think everyone can learn from someone's mistakes. And I just want to tell you that no one's perfect, I'm not perfect, and I just think it's really funny, so I want to keep it in. Anyways, I think you can see what I'm doing here, but I got some silicone molds. I'm going to mix it in a ratio of 1 to 1, and then kind of wrap it around like so. It only takes like 15 minutes for it to completely harden, so you need to work quite fast. I also need to have like an opening somewhere where I could take out the imposter inside, so I decided to leave the back part open. It was convenient because these imposters are carrying like this square thingy and has a flat back. Oh, by the way, I noticed with all these molds, it could trigger someone with trypophobia. You know the phobia where you feel uh when there's like a lot of holes i'm okay with it like i don't like it but i'm okay but because i thought i could trigger some people i decided to cover every time when there's like more than one mold in the shot together but basically i made 10 molds and left it aside for 15 minutes and of course you can't forget to make a mold for our fall guy after 15 minutes it should be safe to take out the clay inside oh my gosh it's a boy <laughs> Just kidding. Anyways, I basically repeat this again 10 more times. 
Okay, so what am I making? I made all these molds so I can pour in some resin inside to make the imposter squishies. And you know how I said I wanted to make a hundred of them? Well, if I only have 10 molds, I would need to repeat the process 10 times to make a hundred of them. I'll show you more later what resin I used to make the squishies, but I'm going to use this resin liquid kind of thingy that would take 45 minutes to harden. Which means, if I have to do the steps 10 times, it would take me 450 minutes. Which is basically like 7 to 8 hours. Well, that is, if I work on it without resting. So to speed up the process, I wanted to make more molds. I mean, if I have 20 molds, then it would only take me 5 times to get to 100. So that's what I'm doing right here. <laughs> and it came back. And now I have 20 molds in total. Okay, so to make those really small gummy squishies, I'm thinking of using this toy. It's called rainbow jellies and they come with like a pack which you kind of mix and they turn into squishies. The problem is the packs are actually really really small so one was not enough. So I went on to Amazon and I got as many as I could. <laughs> I hope this is enough. So, I'm going to be using these today for the squishies. Inside each box comes with two molds, two packages of squishies, and random accessories. I'm going to be using the packs only today, so I'm going to keep the rest and probably use it for a different project. I don't know what project, but don't worry, it's not going to waste. So before anything, I decided to open up each and every package and sort them out by the colors. Each package is basically a surprise, so whatever color I get, that's what the imposter is going to turn out, but I think the colors turned out perfect. Oh, and you guys like my Hermione shirt? It's my favorite. So I'm going to be using some gloves. Disclaimer, this isn't the right way to use the toy. I've used it before the right way, but basically there's like two packs inside each bag and you need to pop the packs inside the bag and mix it in together. There's a tube on the end so you can squeeze it out from there so there's no need to take it out from the package. However, I wanted to make a lot at once and I wanted to use like every single drop so I decided to take them out from the bag. If you're a kid, please don't copy what I'm doing. If you're an adult, well, um, it's kind of up to you, but you know, just be careful. And now I'm supposed to pop the liquids. I mean, I could have just cut them all open, but you know, I mean, popping them is kind of part of the fun, so I just wanted to have some fun. But I knew I needed to use like every single drop of the white liquid, so I decided to cut them open. Now I'm going to mix it. It said I need to mix it for like one to two minutes. And now using a syringe, oh, don't worry, it's a dull one, and something you could get from a dollar store. I'm going to suck up the liquid and squeeze it inside the molds. But because the liquid is so thick, the tip kind of fell off mm. and that worked better so I decided to leave it off. And here we go. It's kind of satisfying just watching this, but I basically filled up all the molds and waited for 45 minutes for it to harden. Since I had 45 minutes, I decided to do a side project. I have a lot of random cases at my house, so I decided to customize some cases inspired by Among Us. Like always, I'm going to be using some Posca paint pens. 
I have so many cases at home because I've made quite a few customizing videos and I usually buy some extras just in case if I mess up. I don't really use all these cases because, well, obviously, I don't use every single iPhone. So if I could, I would really want to like give it away to someone who would cherish it for me. But really, right now, everything's so hard because of COVID. But if you guys want these, please comment below. Also, I did do a giveaway before on this channel, and many people have asked me what happened, but like I said on the forum, I'm not going to do a winner reveal. Also, I'm not in charge of it anymore. I sent it to my manager, so he's contacting people for me. So I really can't answer even if you DM me, I'm sorry. I've used to do some giveaways before and do some winner reveals, but I remember some people would just like not respond, and after like an year, they would message me asking me for the prize, and it just made everything so awkward, so yeah. Okay, back to the video. I decided to draw some posters and add like a space themed background. I added some dots for the stars, but the dots are actually silver. Otherwise, it's a pretty basic drawing. It didn't take me too long to complete. I still had like 20 minutes left, so I decided to make one more case. Ooh, another iPhone case. So, you know when the imposter kills the crewmates? There's this red flash in the background, and the imposter opens his mouth really wide and stabs the crewmate with his tongue, or whatever it is. That's what I'm trying to recreate right here. Okay, just a Posca paint pen tip. You can kind of blend the colors when it's still wet. I thought it would look cool if I mixed the pink and red together for the flash thing on the back, so I purposely mixed the colors together. I don't know, what do you guys think? I then added some white lines for extra effect, and then added the imposter on top. I know you can kind of customize your crewmates. You can add like small accessories, hats, clothes, and even pets on your side. I wanted to add them for my little squishies, but it was just too much. So I decided to add some random accessories onto my drawings here. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? It's been 45 minutes and it's time to take the squishies out. This part actually took the most time out of everything, and I had to repeat this a hundred times. My poor fingers. I'm just going to slowly pull it out like so. And, oh my god, look at how squishy it turned out. The color, the squishiness, everything was what I wanted, so I would call this a success. However, not all turned out perfect. I mean, some had small bumps, some had some holes, but they weren't too bad. I used my small scissors to cut off any random parts. And while most of them turned out quite fine, some turned out not as expected. <gasps> it broke into half. So for my first batch, I made 16 squishies. Okay, now that I know this technique worked, I was confident enough to move on to some more. I'm just going to repeat the steps until I get to 100. By the way, there are a lot of other ways to make jelly squishies. Like, have you heard of something called hitohada no geru? If you guys have seen like other jelly squishy videos before, you may have heard of it before. Fun fact, I was actually the first person to make a video about Hitohada no Geru. It's on my other channel, but it basically got around 3 million views. And a lot of people followed my trend. So I know quite a lot about Hitohada no Geru and other similar resin thingies, but they all take like a few days to completely harden. Also, they could come out quite patchy if you don't mix in the colors correctly, or most of the time they would kind of fail because they just wouldn't harden. So they're quite hard to work with. Most of the time, they will be really sticky, so you will need to put powder on it or add like an extra layer of top coat. But I was really impressed with this squishy kit. It only takes 45 minutes to harden, the color is perfect, it's soft but not sticky at all, and I'm just amazed. I've never seen anything like this before. I really want to know what this is made of so I could use them for my future projects. Alexa, tell me when it's 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. While I was waiting, this time I decided to make more molds. I destroyed some while ripping out the squishies and also the more molds the merrier and faster to finish, so more molds it is. Okay guys, you know how this project works. I'm basically going to repeat these steps until I reach 100. So let's just zoom forward. Okay. 
And now again, I had to wait 45 minutes, but this time I decided to go to bed because it was 4 a.m. in the morning. And when I woke up, I went to yoga, then got my hair done. Went shopping for some fabric softener and came back to the project. And day two. I think they're ready now. And here are 24 squishies. This has been taking a long time, but we're almost done. So I made some green and blue squishies, repeated the same process, and at the very end, I decided to add a face to some of the squishies with white fabric paint. So ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? I've got 99 posters, but you ain't one. So here is one squishy and here's a hundred squishies. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, that was a lot. But I'm actually really happy with how all of these turned out. I think they turned out so cute, so squishable, and quite nice actually. Oh, and my fall guy. Anyways, it was a stupid challenge, but I hope you guys liked it. If you guys want to see more awkward videos from me, please subscribe and comment below. I'll see you guys next video. Bye!